Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And again, another day, time for another tutorial. And we'll be creating a simple retro look uh, using some brushes and color techniques on Photoshop. And again, this PhD file will be available on my Patreon. And if you want to support me on my Patreon, then my Patreon link is in the description list below. And 80% of you guys who are watching this tutorial right now haven't subscribed my channel yet. So please, please, please do subscribe my channel. And yes, with that note, let's dive into the video. And so first thing first, let's create an artwork. So for that, press Ctrl and N. And I will just go with 4x5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB, bitrate to 16. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on Create. And right after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. And let's make it a little bigger, Ctrl T. Yep, just, just like. So maybe a little smaller, yep, just just like so. Now let's add a rectangle and let's keep it like that. And let's make a copy, alt and drag, just like so. Maybe let's move it a little up, maybe this one a little up too. And let's create a one more solid and let's go for a kind of warmer color and Let's go for a little lighter one, just like that. And now let's create an eclipse. And for this one, let's change the fill to none. And let's change the stroke to kind of darker color. And let's change the stroke size. And let's keep it right over here. Let's make it a little smaller, just like that. And maybe let's change it to kind of dotted line. Let's keep it like that, Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Smaller, yep, let's, you know, let's, maybe let's keep it somewhere over here. Now let's uh, select this rectangle, create a layer max, go to brush and let's go for a grunge brush. Yep, let's go with this brush and let's make it a little smaller. And then let's add some grunges right over here. And let's do the same thing for this eclipse. Select this one, create a layer max and again using the same brush. Let's add some, some strokes right over here and let's go back to white and let's rebuild some of these parts back and let's do the same thing for this one. Yep, and let's go for another brush. Let's see. Yep, let's go for this one and let's make it a little smaller and let's uh, erase some of these edges. Let's make it black. Keep it like that and let's do the same thing for this one. Yep, just like so. And let's create a one more layer. And let's make it bigger and let's go for a darker color. Just like so, and let's add a grunge and let's drop down the opacity just like so. Now let's create some elements. So go over here, add a rectangle. And again, for this one too, let's change the fill to none. And let's change the stroke to kind of darker color. And let's change the stroke size. to maybe like let's keep it like five and then let's make it a little rounded edges and control J let's make a copy control T and let's squeeze this one and for this one let's change it to zero and again let's create a layer max go to brush and let's Go for a general soft brush and let's erase 
a stitch parts and again using the same brush let's erase some of these parts just just like so and now let's add some text and, and let's keep it right over here control T and let's go for kind of similar color and then control J control T let's move it under right over here let's add some other text and let's add eclipse too and let's keep it maybe i don't know let's keep one right over here let's make a copy let's keep it one right over here and let's keep everything inside a group so control g and let's keep it inside a group too so this is one let's rename it as uh, element 01 let's create a layer max go to a press and let's go for a uh, same uh, grunge press and then let's make the color black and let's add some grunge patterns just like that and let's make another element right over here again let's add a clip and for this one too let's change the fill to none let's change the stroke to kind of darker color and then let's change the stroke size a little bigger let's maybe let's keep it as three and then let's add some more text Control T, let's keep it right over here. Let's make, uh, let's keep right over there. And then let's add some more text. Let's add a rectangle right over here. And again, let's select all of them. And let's keep it inside a group and we'll just rename it as element 0 to again create a layer max go to brass and let's add some crunches right over here and let's add some rectangle and let's change the color to kind of darker red just like so and again create a layer max go to brush and let's add the same thing let's make a copy Control j Control t let's keep it right over here let's make it a little smaller and then let's delete the layer max and let's keep it like that and maybe let's add some other rectangles too so go over here let's go for kind of similar lighter color and let's add one right over here let's change the fill to lighter color alt and right let's keep one right over here and you know what let's uh, copy this element one control j control t let's keep this one maybe right around here and then let's add another rectangle just like so a text right over here and let's keep it in a center control T and let's add let's make this rectangle a little bigger
and let's do some adjustment let's make the copy alt and drag control t let's make it a little shorter and let's keep everything inside a group Control G again, create a layer max, go to brush and using the same brush, let's add some crunches right over here. And then let's go for white color and let's rebuild some of these parts back. And let's make it Yep, let's keep it like that and let's add some other extra text right over here Let's make a copy, control J. And control T, let's make it a little smaller. Let's keep one right over here. And then let's add some texts. And let's keep them all inside our group. Control G, create a layer max, go to press and again same thing and let's rename this group as text 02 and let's go to the filter and let's go to uh, filter gallery and from here let's go to sketch and let's change it to half tone pattern so and from here let's change the size Let's make it a little smaller size here. Let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. And again, create a layer max. Let's fill it with black. Go to brush and again, let's go with a general soft brush and let's get those effects back right over here. And maybe right around here too. And let's not put that over his face. And maybe right around here. And let's do some color adjustment for this main layer. So select this one, go to filter, let's go to camera raw filter. And then let's uh, increase the clarity. Just like so, let's drop down the highlights. Let's increase the shadows, let's increase the texture. From the color mixer tab, let's drop down the saturation for red and some orange and some yellows too yep just like that let's click on ok now let's merge everything Control shift alt and e and let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and again let's go to the basic tab let's uh, increase the clarity just like that and let's go to detail tab let's oh and let's go to the effect tab and let's add some grains just like so and let's add some vignetting just like that let's click on ok and now let's drag and drop uh, this texture right over here control t let's make it a little smaller and let's change the blending mode to screen control t let's add some some rotation 
Yep, just like so. And let's make it a little bigger. Yep, just like that. And that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.